Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com and I'm coming to you live on Facebook on Tuesday. Um, I think it is January 18th. I should always check the date, I guess, before I do this. <laughs> it's been a one, one heck of a day. Um, I just got notified by my, uh, the head of our center that one of my um, girls in the front office just tested positive for COVID. So now she's supposed to work open to five tomorrow and tomorrow's my day off. So now I have to do it. So I'm really upset because I did not want to have to work tomorrow because I have so much to do and that's going to put me in overtime again too. So anyway, let's get back to stamping. This is what I have for you today. So hopefully, um, I just need to de-stress a minute. <laughs> I almost didn't do the video because I was so upset, but hopefully you guys will cheer me up and uh, I'll get through it. But this is what I was working on um, earlier today. And I just love it. I've been wanting to play with this mother of pearl since I got it. And I haven't seen anybody do anything online with it. So I was just playing around with it, trying to figure out what I could do. And um, I came up with these cards, which I think are absolutely beautiful. I'll hold them up so you can see them even closer because you can't see that sparkle unless you kind of tilt it. Oops, I see my camera's messing up. Hopefully the internet's not going to go out. <laughs> hey Joanne, hey Diane. Can you see that sparkle on there? From the It's the mother of pearl paper. So it's like sparkly, glossy cardstock kind of and it's just absolutely beautiful. I'll show you in a second what it looks like before I did this. So it comes just white with the speckles all on it but it's so beautiful. And then I just added some color to it. And I mean, you just can't even, it's, it's just so pretty. I wish you could see it in the camera exactly how beautiful it is. Um, hey Deborah, hey Linda, hey Robin. Very perfect, just got my mother pearl paper today. All right, Diane. All right, so let me show you what it looks like in the package. You get two sheets of 12 by 12, and hopefully you can see the sparkle on it. It's, I think it's easier to see when it's white but it's just absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna color it, and the sparkle still shows just as good um, on here, but I guess in the camera it's just not showing. I, mean, I can kind of see it in the camera, but if you turn it at an angle. But it's really, really pretty paper. So um, it's kind of like the polished stone technique is what I did with it today. Um, the only thing is it does not dry that fast so it took me a long time to let this sit and dry so that's the only bad thing is it's not very porous paper so it takes a while to dry and you can't really heat set it because I found when I heat set it it took the color away I don't know exactly what happened but it was gorgeous and then I heat set it and then it just turned it back to like almost white again so you have to just like let it sit and dry so um that's gonna just take a while but <laughs> hey Linda I made the live, but you keep freezing. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I saw it mess up a second ago. Um, I wanted to show you this card that I got in the mail the other day. This is from Debbie Spicer, who is one of my viewers. And I thought this was absolutely the most gorgeous card ever. And it's got this belly band on it and you slide it off and then it opens and you have that inside. So it is just absolutely beautiful. And look at that gorgeous bow. I think she's been watching my directions. <laughs> So hopefully you guys love that and it's got the dahlia set on there which is one of my favorites I just thought this was absolutely beautiful so thank you Debbie for that card and um, also in case you missed the last few videos I did I've been loving this stamp set so this is one that I did the other day and I have a video of that one if you missed it and then I did these two the other night and these were with the whitewash technique so if you missed any of those videos make sure you check them out because I am loving this stamp set. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is what it looks like. It's called Calming Camellia. Am I freezing for anybody else on there, Laura? Oh, Laura says yes, every other word freezes. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Just another great part of my day. Dang it. <laughs> Hopefully it will stop and it's not doing it on the taped version of this. Um, I'm just like really not having a good day, <laughs> but I'm going to keep going. Hopefully it'll stop in a second. Um, this is the stamp set and it's in the celebration mini 
In the very back, it's a hostess stamp set. So you can get it for free with a $300 or more order. So that's it right there. And you just have to order $300 to get it for free. Or you can get a couple of friends together and put some orders together and get it for free that way. And there's all sorts of free stuff in here. Everything um, in this little catalog is free. There's paper, designer paper, the daffodil one. There's some cute stamp sets, more paper, more stamp sets, more paper. So lots of cute things. And this one is actually a stamp set and paper, but that's a, with a $100 order. So lots of cute stuff in there. I'm also using this embossing folder today, which is the Time Worn Type. That's going right here on the purple behind this piece right here. So that's what you need. So let's get started. Oh, I wanted to show you some of my rejects here too. So this, this is actually the one of the first ones I did. And I tried stamping the flowers. The background came out really pretty good, but I tried to stamp the flowers in um, me memento black instead of regular black and it just smeared everywhere. So you have to use stays on ink on this or it will mess up. But the colors came out really good on there, but I kind of had to not use it because it got messed up. This one I tried to stamp in regular ink. So I stamped, I did the background and then I stamped in um, gorgeous grape and it just kind of faded out. So you really have to use a permanent ink on there, stays on. This one I actually did with the um, Stampin' Blends. I did the Stampin' Blends and Alcohol Technique. So it kind of works on this, but not super great. So I saw somebody else that tried it um, on this paper and hers came out better than mine did, but I didn't really like that. And then this one, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I did it uh, a couple days ago and let it sit there and I kind of got just the splotchiness all over it. But um, it does dry eventually but it doesn't dry like right away. So you kind of have to do it ahead of time and then let it sit for a little while and then it'll dry for you. All right, so let's get started. I've got to get um, my pad down here because it is a little bit messy. So I've got my um, silicone mat that I got from Amazon and the link is in my description box on YouTube. And then I've got some cotton balls. I've got a rubber glove because it does make a mess with your hands. Um, even though I, I had a little holder for the cotton ball and it still got all over my fingers. So it took me like 10 washings to get my hands clean today. So we're getting ready for surgery now. So I'm gonna put a rubber glove on because <laughs> my hands were such a mess. They just, they still have a little bit of ink on them even after washing them like a hundred times today. All right, so what we're gonna do is start with, let's start with a blue one. So what you need is four and a quarter by 11 Bermuda Bay scored at four and a quarter by five and a half. Oh shoot. Everybody says I'm freezing. Oh wait a minute. Diane says not freezing. So just Linda is freezing. Angie says I like those rejects. It doesn't look messed up. Oh you like what pretty cards. Terry says you've inspired me. I ordered the shimmer paint from Amazon. All right. I almost did that on here too but it's already shimmery so you really don't need it. Um, Connie says so glad I caught you live. Okay, so a lot of people are saying it's not freezing, so I did think just one or two people are having freezing, so that's good. I hope it's it's not me. All right, so this was um, scored at four and a quarter and five and a half, and for some reason it's not staying flat. And then we've got um, the Mother of Pearl paper, four by four, and a four by four white for the inside of the card. So that's what you need for the first one, for this one. I know it's got this ugly background in the back. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so, whoops, let me scroll back up so I don't miss any. Let's see. All right, sorry if it's freezing for you guys, but most people are saying it's not, so that's a good thing. All right, so here is what you're gonna do. Take all these off, and we just need this one right here to start with. And you're gonna do it just like the, um, what do you call it? Polished stone technique. So you need a cotton ball and then you're going to put some alcohol on it. And I'm using just 70% regular alcohol and just get it wet and don't spill it. And then you're going to pick some refill colors. So I've got mint macaron and we're just going to put a few drops of that one. 
And then I've got Pool Party. I'll put a few drops of that one. And whatever one is your darkest color, which for me is going to be Bermuda Bay, that one you just want a couple dots because you don't want that to take over the whole entire thing. So this is Bermuda Bay, so we're just going to put like two on there. All right, so then you're just going to take this and just dab it all over. So it comes out really, really pretty. Oops, I need my paper towel too. Put that underneath. All right, so we're just gonna dab it all over. And you can see the Bermuda Bay. I only have two drops of that and it's already taken over the whole thing, but that's all right. Because whatever you put on here is gonna lighten up a ton. So even though it's so dark right now, it's gonna lighten up a lot. So you wanna have some, some dark colors on it. All right, so I'm just dabbing it until it's all nice and mixed up. You can't even hardly see the green on there. All right, and then when you get that all done, then I take, uh, you're done with this really for a minute. You know what? Actually, okay. You can do it either way. I think what I did first though, on one of them I did this first and then I stamped in black. On the other one I stamped first and then did this, which that worked better. So um, the only reason it works better is because the uh, you don't want to touch it too much when it's not all the way dry and it kind of might smear a little bit, but we'll do the other one the other way. All right, so then I took a dry cotton ball and I let it sit for just a minute. And then I kind of dabbed it with the dry one just to kind of soak up. And if you're not in a rush and you have plenty of time, you can just let it sit like that. But then you'll get those little blobs. So I want to kind of even it out a little bit. I feel like I'm at work wearing these gloves. <laughs> I gotta wear them at work all the time. All right, so that's about what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna let that dry. And when it dries, I've got one already done, but this one actually kind of is a lot lighter. So that one's too light, I don't wanna use that. So we'll just let this one dry for a few minutes and see what happens. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the purple one too. All right, so we'll just set this aside for a minute over here. And then I'm gonna move this out of the way and get my purple one. So now we're gonna take the other one, which is a little bit smaller. And I don't wanna get this on anything. All right, so for this balmy blue one, you've got five and a half by eight and a half balmy blue. And then a piece of white for the inside, five and a quarter by four. A piece of Highland Heather, um, five and a quarter by four. And I embossed this with that embossing folder. And then the mother of pearl, this one is four by three and three quarters. Um, let me see, I'm missing comments. Nope, just a couple. Okay. All right, so then we're going to use this mother of, pearl, mother of pearl piece, and we're going to do the flower first. So I'll show you the difference. So I think it comes out better if you stamp that first. All right, so let's put our paper towel back down. Fold it over a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna stamp the um, flower and stays on. And the only thing I hate about stays on is that it's permanent and it messes your stamp. I mean, it doesn't mess it up, but it stains it black. Unless you have stays on cleaner and you use it like the second you finish, then it might come off, but pretty much mine is gonna be stained black for, for now. All right, so I'm just gonna ink it up and stamp all over. Beverly says it's 36 degrees and dry. Okay for January. It was um, a little chilly today. Not as bad as it has been. It's been super cold. But actually, I just looked at the weather and it's supposed to snow, I think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's not good. Because I have to work no matter what. We don't ever close. Unless there's a blizzard and there's like two feet of snow then they might close but it's rarely ever happened I'm gonna do one more right over in this corner okay all right so I got the whole thing covered and this takes a second to dry also just because it is that really glossy paper so we're just gonna let it sit for just a sec 
And if you want to, you could use the um, emboss the heat gun for it and let it um, dry that way. But I think it only takes like a second. It'll be dry in just a minute. I think it's almost dry now. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's dry. No, maybe a little teeny bit more. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about this a technique. It does not like do instantly like a regular uh, card technique that we do. So it's going to take a minute. Let me see how the other one is doing. See how it's drying so much lighter? And I just take that cotton ball, the dry one. So this is the dry one. And just dab it if it starts to spread out like that. But see, it's almost dry now. So then it just looks so pretty. So you can see that sparkle in there, can't you? Let me look in the um, camera. Yeah, you can see it. It's still really sparkly. Love it. Love it. All right, so it's almost ready. All right, let's do this one real quick. All right, so same thing. We're going to take a cotton ball, and you're just going to get it um, wet with the alcohol, the 70% alcohol, and don't spill stuff. All right, so this time we're going to use um, Magenta Madness and I think I did Bermuda Bay, I think. We'll see in a second. So put the magenta on there. And we're just gonna put like three drops of that because that's really dark. And then the Bermuda Bay. And what happens when you mix pink and blue, does anybody know? You get purple. So this is gonna end up being mostly purple, even though I have pink and blue. So we're just gonna go all over it. And it starts out pink and blue but then it's gonna turn purple. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. It's too bad it doesn't dry like this though. I mean, I, I don't know if you let it sit overnight, if it would dry just like this, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty like that, but then you can't see the flowers very good because it's so dark. I just think these colors are so pretty together. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so we'll let that sit for a sec. And then we're gonna go back and dab it with a dry one. You can blow on it. But the funny thing is when I took that heat gun to it, I mean, it just totally like, it just went back to like white. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know where the color went and just disappeared. I know, isn't it just beautiful? I love it, love it. All right, so we're just gonna jab off a little bit. Oh my gosh, I love this. I feel like I just am cleaning a cut <laughs> at work. <laughs> Not that I do that, but you know how you just sit there with your rubber gloves and just do stuff like this. Okay. So that is looking good. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh, those colors are so pretty together. It's hard to believe that you start with just totally pink and blue and it comes out so much purple. All right, so you just gotta keep dabbing it because it'll keep like pulling up a little bit. And I played with this for like hours trying to get exactly what I wanted. But that is beautiful. All right, so we're pretty much done with the messy part. So we're gonna move that aside. So, oops, I'm just gonna let this dry over here. So we don't need that mat anymore. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the one that we started with and hopefully it's almost dry by now. So I'm gonna get a piece of scrap, oops, piece of scrap paper. And we're just gonna go ahead and stamp the flower on here. So we need that stays on back again. Just ink it up. I guess I could take my glove off. <laughs> well, I might have to go back and dab it a little bit, but after I stamp it, but we'll do it without the glue. All right, so ink it up. And this one I'm gonna do right in the middle. So we're gonna have a flower right in the center. 
and then we're gonna do a couple around the edges. I wish the stays on was not like so permanent on the stamps. <laughs> I hate having a black stamp. It just makes me like a little sad. <laughs> I might have to get another set just to, to not have one that's black. Just makes it look so dirty. All right, so just kind of stamp this around the corners, around it, just a little bit. You don't want to cover it up. And one more. Okay, all right, so there you go. So that's pretty much done. Let me see if I can clean it a little bit. All right, not much coming off of there. All right, but we're done with the stays on. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a sec and check on the other one. Now the other one is pooling up just a little bit. So let's dab it some more. And it's almost dry. It really doesn't like completely dry until about the next day. You could probably set it with something. I don't know if like hairspray or something might work, but my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? My gosh, I love it, love it, love it. All right, so now we're going to work on the inside and stuff. So on the blue one, what I did was I stamped um, this piece that comes with the stamp set. It's like a little leafy thing. I'm going to do that in the corner over here and just put one right there. So that's our inside and then we've also got some words that go in there. I think. Let me see. Nope, I didn't do any words. So you can just put whatever words you want on that one. And then that goes inside and I hope I don't have ink on my fingers. I'll get my card all dirty. All right, let's get this out of the way. All right, so put some green glue on there and then put it on the inside. And it's gonna go right here. And then we're gonna work on the ribbon. So I wanted, to, I didn't wanna take too much away. I tried stamping something over here and it really took away from the flower. So I just decided to go ahead and do the ribbon like this. So what I did was I took this um, gingham ribbon, the black gingham ribbon, and I colored it with the blending brush. So I took that here, let's get the scrap paper back. All right, so we need to get two pieces. So you want um, two pieces that are a little bit bigger and cut it. Uh, that when I first did it, I wrapped it around, wrapped it around, and it just is wasting a lot of ribbon. So. I'm gonna try this way and see if it uses less ribbon. All right, so then we need to color these two and then we're gonna have a little tag too, so we'll have to color it a little bit more. All right, so we need Bermuda Bay, I mean Coastal Cabana, sorry. <gasps> I did use Bermuda Bay, darn it, and I didn't bring it in here, so we're gonna have to use this one. All right, so really I used Bermuda Bay on the, the one I did, but I'm gonna just use Coastal Cabana now, so that's all I got. All right, so. Just take it and blend it. This is gonna take a little bit longer because this is not as dark as Bermuda Bay. But it still comes out almost exactly the same. And you have to do both sides because, well actually you don't on this one because it's only one side's gonna show. So that's good. All right, so just do one side. And we'll just make sure that's the side that sticks up. guys are quiet. Hello. Hey, Diane. Always late. Hey, Sharon. How you doing? Hey, Diane. All right, and then we do it, need to do a little bit on this piece to tie it with. So I don't know why that's kind of um, folded over, so I'll cut that off. We don't need a whole lot, just a little bit, enough to tie it in a, like a little knot. Flip it over. And you can do this with um, any ribbon that you want to color. I do it a lot with the um, the white seam binding ribbon. And there's also another white ribbon we have, which I just realized today that I'm totally out of. The one that comes in the three pack with the, um, 
what's it called? Flowers for every season. All right, so what we're gonna do is wrap this around and you want it kind of crooked because I want them to go diagonal like that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of tape in here on the inside. If I can find my tape, here we go. All right, so we'll tape that down and then tape the other side down. So hopefully that's going like diagonal, yep. All right, then we're gonna do the other one the same way. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape here, a little bit of tape there and tape that the same way. So it's gonna crisscross in the middle. And then what I wanna do is take this piece and just wrap it around and tie it in a knot. And that'll give us our little, I should have probably cut it. <laughs> I don't ever cut the ribbon when I'm tying something though, because then it wastes it. All right, so we've got our little ribbon knot there, and then trim that, and then we're done with that. And then we're gonna glue that piece down. So that will be um, stuck down here. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the inside. And I like to use the green glue for this because it holds better. Oops. And then just press it down. And this is the um, book binding fold. I like to use this one a lot. It's really good when you have something that's four by four. Like if you're using designer paper and you want to conserve a little bit, or if you're doing something like this where you just have a four by four piece. All right, so let's see. Hopefully this is dry by now. Almost. It's pretty good. All right, so let me see if I can just dab a little bit more. All right, it's pretty dry. So we're gonna put on the green glue for this one. And stick it on the front and you want to try not to touch it because it kind of wherever you touch it, it's going to get your fingerprints a little bit let me turn it over and smush it all right and there you go so that's the inside that's the front so one card's done so that was the original so there's that one now we're going to work on the purple one so we'll set that aside. So for the purple one, what did I do on the inside of this one? Oh, I put the flower in there. So I gotta clean this a little bit. I don't think it's gonna come off though. I didn't bring my cleaner in here. All right, so we're gonna stick that in Highland Heather. And hopefully it's mostly clean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I meant to bring my little, uh, what do you call that thing? Dang it. The, um, what is that thing called? The purple thing? The chamois. The chamois. I forgot to bring the chamois with me. All right, so we're going to stamp on the bottom here. And look, I got ink right there. Darn it. We'll see if we can cover it up. All right, so stamp that. And then I did stamp words on the inside of this one. I did, you're in my thoughts. And this I stamped with just regular uh, memento ink. So this says, you're in my thoughts today, but you can leave it blank if you want to save it. Look, I got ink there too. I'm just a mess. I'm a hot mess today, I swear. It's just one of those days. It's not going my way, and I really, really do not want to go to work tomorrow. I'm so upset about that. <laughs> That's the, what you get for being supervisor or manager. If somebody's sick, you got to go in, so... I'm the one stuck doing it. All right, we're gonna glue this down with the green glue. I just wanted to stay home and stamp all day. Cause I was gonna work on my Thursday video tomorrow. And Thursday I have to work all day too, so my video will be at seven o'clock on Thursday. All right, then this one goes um, on the front, but we're gonna put the ribbon down and we're gonna put this down first. So hopefully this is dry. Let's check. This one really came out pretty. Let's see. It's pretty good. All right, so that's gonna go on here. Let's flip it upside down, put some green glue. Marie says, love it, love it, love it. Hey, Terry. 
Robin says, can't wait to try it. Love it. Diane says, wow. I'm so glad you guys like it. I was like, this is a really cool technique. It is a mess. I'm not sure if you're a demonstrator, if you want to do it in class or not, because it, it will kind of make a mess. All right, and then we're going to wrap to see a little bit came off. So it's not all the way dry, but mostly. All right, we're going to wrap the ribbon around it. And this one, I just found this ribbon today in my stash. It is Highland Heather, um, what is it called? Grow Grain. This doesn't look like Grow Grain ribbon. It's really, really sparkly and really soft. So I'm going to take that and wrap it around the bottom. So it'll just cover the bottom a little bit. And just tape that down with some tape. Uh-oh. My cotton balls are getting everywhere. Oh, that's crooked. So you can tell I'm frazzled because I'm <laughs> just a hot mess. All right, so there we go with the ribbon. And then we're going to take the sparkly ribbon. I forget what this one's called. Seam, no, what is it? Metallic mesh ribbon. This is metallic mesh ribbon. So what I'm going to do is um, cut it in half long ways. And we're going to make a little bow, like a double bow because this makes really pretty bows. And I guess you could probably fold it in half too if you um, don't wanna cut it. But I think it's prettier when it is um, in two pieces. All right, so we're just gonna take this and make a little loop and then just wrap it around and tie it in a bow just like you're tying your shoes. And then just pull it and until you get the size you want and then kind of spread it out a little bit. And I just want a little bow for the front. Okay. There we go. All right, so we're going to trim this. And it just makes the cutest little bow. Isn't that adorable? I love it. All right, so we're going to take that and put it on with a glue dot. I think I need it just a teeny bit smaller. Let me see. It's not spreading out like I want it to right there. Okay. All right, let's trim it just a teeny bit more. All right, so then put it on with a glue dot right on your purple and then um, I'm going to take another glue dot and stick it underneath of that just to hold the ribbon down. Oops. All right. So there you go. That's the front. And then we're going to turn it over and glue it down with some green glue. Um, hey, Debbie, I just showed your card in the middle, of, I mean, the beginning of the video that you sent me in the mail. Yes. We're almost done though. You'll have to go back and watch the replay. But thank you so much for that card. It was so pretty. All right, so put green glue all over that. And then put it down. Man, this one really came out pretty. I'm gonna turn it over. Probably a little bit's gonna come off again. But it will, yeah, see hardly any came off now. So it's pretty much almost all the way dry. If you don't have to do a video and have people watching you, then you can um, let it sit there longer. <laughs> so you won't have to wipe it as much, but that one came out better than the first one, I think. Isn't that pretty? Got a little fuzz from the ribbon stuck on there. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Can you see how sparkly it is? Debbie says, I thought you were on YouTube. Ouch, nope, I am on Facebook. I do the, I always do the videos on Facebook and then I just upload them to YouTube. Just got on, need to watch the replay. Yes, you do, Marie. You have to hurry. <laughs> All right, so if you missed the beginning, this is what we did. We did these cards, the blue one and the purple one. And I really think that the sec the ones I did in the video came out better than the ones I did originally. So what do you guys think of these cards? They're so pretty. Love them, love them. 
Angie says, I don't have Mother of Pearl paper, but I do have some of the glossy paper. If you have glossy paper, you can do the same thing and just put either a little wink of Stella on the cotton ball, or if you have the white shimmer paint, you can put a little bit of that on there and it'll do the same thing. But we don't sell the glossy paper anymore, so I was trying to do it without um, glossy paper, even though I have like several packs of it. But this is with the new Mother of Pearl paper. But if you don't have that and you want to do glossy and you have that, do the same thing, but to make it sparkly, um, just put that Wink of Stella, a few drops of Wink of Stella or a couple drops of um, the white shimmer paint on there. Um, and it'll do the same thing. Or if you take Saran Wrap, that's a good way to put the shimmer paint on also. All right, so if you wanna order anything, don't forget, you can always order from my website, stampingwithlisa.com. That's the host code till the end of the month. It's celebration time, so for every $50 you order, you get a free item and also there's a joining fee um, and a joining special so if you sign up now for $99 you get $125 of product plus any two free stamp sets you want for free um, and so it's like $200 of stuff for um, $99 which is a great deal and also I always send you gifts so if you um, order from me I'll send you a gift too if your order is over $50 so thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're watching on YouTube or here, leave a comment. You could win one of these cards. And I know I'm way behind. I'm going to have to pick some winners next time. Um, I promise I will. And I still haven't heard from a couple people from the last pick. So if um, if you haven't watched the last couple videos, go back and watch those and see if I picked your name for winning other cards that we did. And um, I'll be back on Thursday night at 7, hopefully. I don't get stuck at work <laughs> um, and hopefully I'll have something really good for you I was really planning on doing something spectacular tomorrow but now I've got to work so I don't know what I'm gonna do but um, I might have to stay up late and come up with something I don't know but you guys have a great couple of days until I see you again and thank you guys so much for watching thank you Beverly thank you Angie and um, if you missed anything go back watch the replay you can see it all over again but this is actually my favorite one out of these all. This one just came out absolutely gorgeous. I love that blue and pink together. And it makes purple. I love it. All right. See you guys later. Have a great night. Bye-bye.